The Big 12 has been in existence for 15 years. Oklahoma has a chance to win more than half of the available championships when they take on the Huskers. What would be more fitting, though, to, than to, how exciting to be able to, to pair up against Nebraska? Not that it's exciting to play them. They're an excellent football team. But, but the tradition there and the history between Nebraska and Oklahoma and, uh, and with them departing uh, from us, to have one more go at it. it's really pretty exciting and special. To get there, Oklahoma had to overcome Bedlam, and it was a game that was tied at 24. And in less than six minutes of play in the fourth quarter, 34 points were scored, four touchdowns in 92 seconds, two of those touchdowns coming when many expected OU to try and run out the clock. Instead, they went long, completions for scores. Cameron Kinney, 86 yards, followed by James Hanna, 76 yards. Ball game, 47-41. Wow, what a game. Did you think the Kenny touchdown would be it, that you wouldn't need another one? Yeah, I thought, I thought that would be it. But then, um, you know, Oklahoma State has great players, explosive players. So, um, you know, there's always a chance for them to take it back. And sure enough, they, they took the kickoff back. Could you believe you were that wide open? Um, I mean, I kind of I thought it was possible, like, just based on the way things were going. But, I mean, it was... Yeah, it was exciting. And lo and behold, that final opponent will be Nebraska. Uh, to have one more go at Nebraska, you'd be pretty good. Reporting from Stillwater, Al Jerkins, 2 News, works for you sports. Al, you know, all year long we have referred to this OSU team as a pleasant surprise. When you're picked to finish fifth in the Big 12 South and win 10 games, there is nothing to be ashamed of. But when you're one win from a Big 12 South title, and you lose by one score to your biggest rival, well, there is something to be disappointed about. Well, it's almost indescribable from the standpoint, you know, your chance to be in the BCS Bowl and do something that we'd never had a chance to do before. And it's just kind of like it, uh, somebody yanked it right out from under you. Yeah, punch right, right square in the stomach and knocks all the wind out of you. After keeping the Cowboys in it by forcing three first-half turnovers. Unbelievable effort here. OSU's defense ran out of gas late. Surrendering touchdowns of 86 and 76 yards in a 27 second span. We couldn't really get in a rhythm or tempo on offense, and the defense got put out there, and I think fatigue may have played a role in that. Meanwhile, the nation's top ranked offense struggled to find answers for the Sooners' surprise attack. They had a good scheme tonight. I watched a ton of tape this week and really and truly didn't see them do a whole lot of what they did tonight. You know, it took us a few series to uh, you know, kind of figure out what they're doing, so to speak. You know, and that, that's just part of them being good coaches. It was Bedlam at its very best. And while coming up short hurts, all that can be done now, get better from it. I told the team that uh, as difficult as it is, this needs to be a learning experience for them. They'll learn to play better in situations uh, that we're in at the end of the game. So the Cowboys wrap up their regular season with a record of 10 and 2. The most likely bowl destinations, either the Cotton Bowl, Alamo Bowl, or Insight Bowl. From here in Stillwater, where it truly was bedlam, Caden McFarland, 2 News, works for you.